Hey guys, it is Eric Barfield from Batch Foundry. And today I'd like to talk a little bit about why I love the Nord Stage 3 so much and why I think it might be the perfect keyboard for you. I've been getting a ton of email um, at patchfoundry.com about uh, what makes this keyboard so special or why I picked this one over all the other keyboards on the option or options for keyboards on the market. <laughs> and um, today I'm just gonna literally show you exactly why I like it so much and give you maybe the top 10 or 12 reasons why I think there's no keyboard better. So here we go. Okay, here is my Nord Stage 3. And a couple things to note about this, I have it hooked up. I'm running in through a little sub mixer here. Uh, I connect audio four, which has, um, which I, I included in some of my routing videos that you can view a little bit further down the page. I have a sustain pedal with the ever present foot junkie uh, foot pedal holder that keeps it from moving around. And then an expression pedal, MIDI expression pedal on the right. I'll explain in a minute why these are significant, but boy, they make all the difference. Okay, so real quickly, I'm just going to tell you why I like this so much. Let me go to live mode. Um, with just in no particular order, I'm going to go through why I like this. Amazing piano sounds. It's probably even hard to hear through this, but you can tell even coming through a speaker, like a floor speaker. It just has amazing quality. And the other thing I love, you can load your own preset or your own samples. So um, when I say your own samples, meaning you can pick samples off of Nord's website and download to find just the right piano you like. And these include things like bright pianos, um, electric grands, uh, upright pianos. These are the best upright pianos I've ever heard anywhere. Just really nice. And then electric pianos, which include like Wurlitzers, clavinets, which is really nice. A DX7 samples, which is really fun to have. And then just a whole bunch of other things that are really cool here. Um, you can even put harpsichords and all kinds of other stuff. So that's top reason. Second, organ is one of the best I've ever heard in a synthesizer like this. And you can, I'm using true draw bars here. So again, the sounds are just incredible. Then you've got over here on the right, a synth section. Synths have all kinds of different uh, types. It's mostly a subtractive type synthesis, but you also have FM synths. You have like a super saw type synths. You have samplers. And the samples, you can load in all kinds of different things. Like they've got some great Mellotron samples. You can put in all kinds of other stuff like harps. Um, your own custom like pump organs, stuff like that. It's just amazing. Then over on the right, you essentially have a stomp box pedal board where you can turn on and off effects. I won't go through all these, but you have pan, tremolo, bunch of different things here. You can set which one of these sections will be affected. So I'm right now have it on piano which I need to turn on the piano for that to work. You can hear it kind of tremoline. Turn to the wah very simply. Let's see. Sounds pretty good. And you can layer those or you can set them to individual sounds. Like I have a vibra, uh, like a weird vibrato effect here that I put on the synth. Pretty cool stuff. You have an amazing, um, very flexible delay pedal, and then an EQ slash amp modeler, which is really good. And then at the end of the chain, you have a compressor up here, and you have your classic reverb. So all of those things combine to make it super, super fast 
to build the right sound with quality sounds. And um, the other thing that I really like about this is that you can turn them on and off really quickly using just some simple buttons here. Um, and it's one knob per function. So you almost never have to menu dive. With most of the keyboards on the market, you're constantly going into sub menus. With this one, I think maybe four or five times a year, I dig into a sub menu. It's, it's that amazing. Um, because of that, it's blindingly fast to build a sound. So uh, real quickly here, I'm gonna pause this, put it on a tripod and I'll show you how quickly I can build a sound. Okay, so here is my live setup. Um, let's real quickly completely change this up just to show you what I'm starting with. I've got uh, organ, which is really driving. Let me turn that down. I've got a uh, digital piano. And I'm gonna put this on mono, which is very easy to do. You hold shift mono. That gives you very quick access to send mono out. And since I'm running through a monitor, monitor that's mono. And then on this side, I've got a brass. Now, I'm going to turn off all the effects. I'm gonna turn on the piano. And really quickly, I'm gonna try and get a electric piano, a maybe some sort of Juno synth, and then a organ. So here we go. Let me mark, get set, go. And I've got the EP. Put an effect on it. There we go. Let's get in a organ and drop the draw bar. There we go. Maybe make this one a little brighter. Okay, this one a little bit growlier. There we go. And then let's get some sort of synth up here. I'm going to go here and very quickly scroll through a bunch of presets that I have. Juno. And I'm going to map uh, this here in just a second. So I'm going to hold control and map the frequency. I'm controlling that with that foot pedal. So, change that to a Moog filter. And that's how fast it is. All super intuitive, build your muscle memory quick. Now we mentioned it here when I was just doing the filming. Um, but the other cool thing about this is if you use a either a foot pedal or you use the mod wheel, you can do super, super fast uh, modulation tricks. Let me show you what I mean by that. So um, I can come here, I could turn on, let's, let's turn that, that uh, Juno synth back on. And one of the things that the Juno 60 synth had, which not many others did, is it had a way to sweep the frequency using a uh, pedal. Now, most synths can't do that quickly. You have to go into a sub menu. Not the case here. All I have to do in order to set this frequency knob is hold down shift, or actually, I'm sorry, hold down um, <clears throat> uh, control pedal until it's flashing and then move that knob. Now I'm holding this with one hand, so I'm not gonna do it. I already did it and it allows me to sweep like that, which is great. Now that's not particularly cool by itself. I mean, that's cool, but it gets cooler. You can do this with multiple parameters. So for instance, I've got it with the cutoff here. I also have it mapped to the organ here. So when I sweep it up and down, I'll show you the macro view, <laughs> sweeping it up and down, sweeping it up and down there, and let's get this up a little bit. There you go. You have multiple morph parameters almost instantly. The only other thing that I would include with this as well would be the fact that you can use a sampler or you can make your own samples using their free sampler. Um, this is the icing on the cake. It allows me to pretty much reproduce almost any sound that I need live very quickly. Um, if you haven't seen it, check it out at nordkeyboards.com and they uh, will have a link up there for it. So those are my top features. 
I'm sure you've got features that I didn't think about. Leave it in the comments below. We'll keep talking. Thanks.